It is fair to say that throughout the history of Catholic Health East, few in leadership have contributed more to the success of our ministry and to helping us achieve our mission and living our core values than John Johnson. Before joining CHE, John had already enjoyed a distinguished healthcare career starting back in the mid-1960s as a first lieutenant in the U.S. Army's Medical Service Corps. He served in the for-profit and not-for-profit healthcare sectors for over 30 years before becoming president and chief executive officer of Holy Cross Hospital in Fort Lauderdale, Florida in 1998. During his 12 years at the helm of Holy Cross, John led the hospital in earning a reputation for excellence unsurpassed in the region. Holy Cross is a recipient of the prestigious Magnet Award for Nursing Excellence, the gold standard in nursing, and was named one of America's best hospitals for orthopedics by U.S. News & World Report. Under John's leadership, health grades ranked Holy Cross among the nation's top 5% of hospitals, and the hospital earned awards for clinical excellence and patient safety. At Holy Cross, John created an environment where associates were welcomed, valued, and celebrated, supporting open communication at all levels. Associates could, at any time and for any reason, meet with him to discuss concerns or share information. He held quarterly open forums and breakfast meetings with associates. John was particularly concerned about connecting with and caring for those associates who struggled to make ends meet. John was an innovator and a talented fundraiser. While at Holy Cross, he built the Jim Moran Heart and Vascular Center, developed the Michael and Diane Bienes Comprehensive Cancer Center, and opened a facility devoted to providing healthcare services to the poor. John pioneered clinical research efforts at Holy Cross, including clinical trials for treatment of cancer and Parkinson's disease. John also invested in the development of Holy Cross Medical Group, a key strategic move now that partnerships with physicians are critical to the success of health systems. John believed in investing in his employees. He created the position of Chief Learning Officer and championed the formation of a learning center where associates go to participate in distance learning and on-site workshops. He promoted extensive personal and professional development training and encouraged employees to improve their job skills and knowledge. He developed the concept of Team Holy Cross to encourage employees to work together for better service to the patients and community and initiated diversity training programs. John's leadership skills were especially valuable in times of crisis. When Hurricane Wilma hit the Florida coast in 2005, gasoline was in short supply and many employees could not find fuel to get to work. John came up with an innovative solution he negotiated with a local gas station and reserved two pumps strictly for the use of Holy Cross employees. This arrangement ensured that clinical staff could get to the hospital to care for patients in the days following the hurricane. John was a valued mentor. He groomed and inspired many future leaders, including Dr. Patrick Taylor, the current Holy Cross president and CEO, as well as CHE Trinity Health leaders such as Clayton Fitzhugh, Nora Triola, and many others. CHE recognized John's leadership qualities. In 2008, he was tapped to take on additional responsibilities as the leader of Mercy Hospital in Miami. He worked diligently to stabilize that hospital during a very challenging period in its history. He was ultimately successful in negotiating its sale to HCA and finalizing an agreement that keeps Mercy operating as a Catholic hospital. In 2010, John was promoted to Executive Vice President of Ministry Operations for CHE. In this new role, John assumed direct report responsibilities for Holy Cross, Mercy Miami, St. Joseph's in Atlanta, and St. Mary's in Athens, Georgia, and served as CHE's chief liaison to Baycare. He also assumed responsibility for mergers and acquisitions activity for the entire health system. John was heavily involved in several key transactions, including those involving Mercy, Maine, Emory and St. Joseph's, and Mercy, Miami, as well as the ownership transfer of St. Joseph's East Georgia to St. Mary, Athens, where it is now known as Good Samaritan. John served on the Consolidation Leadership Team, 
and was involved in the early conversations with Trinity Health leadership as the coming together of our two systems was first contemplated. While work has always been important to John, nothing can compare to the love and commitment he has for his wife Brenda, children Greg and Melanie, and their precious grandchildren. Nothing makes John light up and smile like his family. If you ask John about his greatest accomplishments in life, they would all be about family. Perhaps the real truth about why John was always such a strong leader and did such a great job at work is because his life's priorities were always straight and in proper alignment. Faith, family, and then work. All of us at CHE have been blessed to have been part of John's work family for the last 15 years. While John has received many awards and honors from community groups, charities, and businesses for his exemplary work over the years, perhaps the greatest honor we can give him is to express our thanks and admiration for his body of work supporting the mission of the Sisters and of Catholic Health East. John has been the ultimate team player. He was the rare combination of strategic, operational, creative, and leadership skills all brought together to benefit CHE, our colleagues, our patients, and our communities. CHE Trinity Health owes a debt of gratitude to John Johnson. His unwavering and selfless leadership and support have helped to position our new health system as a leader in Catholic health care and has strengthened the Catholic health care ministry nationwide.